Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. Already we have completed two videos about response spectrum analysis and also for pushover analysis and that is its third lecture and here I'll try to complete our response spectrum analysis procedure. So let's start and if you are new here you can watch the previous video I have uploaded already. So let's start. At first, I will open our previous model. So this is our previous model, and uh, we have completed every task for our that model. And now we'll go for here define. Then we'll go for load case. So from here load case, and after that we'll go here add new load. So from here will give the name response spectrum and from here load case type will select response spectrum and for response spectrum here is the mass source mass source only mass source that will take as its load and after that from here we'll select add load type acceleration it should be acceleration and load name for first time it will be u1 and function it will be our previously defined code for response spectrum ubc90 and you have to select that for your term and after that we'll select add and also for second time will select here u2 and again that is so it's done both two are done and after that from here we have to select directional combination type srr srss so we have to select that and from here model damping that's the important thing model damping it should be five percent so from here we have to select constant damping and it should be 0 0.05 and after that press ok and for here diaphragm eccentricity modify and it should be not 0 0 0.05 sorry 0 0.05 then press ok then press ok again ok after that we'll use pre-select or in our previous video I have shown you that we have select wall slab so we'll select wall slab from up to bottom and again we'll go her assign shell and diaphragm d1 modify modify rigid ok ok and apply so it's done so for every story is done diaphragm or ok for every story then if we go here our load case response spectrum modify so it's done okay and we are totally ready for response spectrum analysis we have completed our every tax that are required for resp response spectrum analysis so we have done that and if you are new here you can watch the previous video the link are given in description they have two lecture about that so you can watch that to understand about clearly and if you have any problem on it you can also contact to me so after that we'll go here for analysis check model select wall okay 
they have no problem on our model after that we'll go for analysis and from here set load case to run and from we're seeing that the model these are response spectrum and everything are ok then press ok after that click here run analysis our model are analyzing and it may take some time uh, for analyzing and uh, if I say you something that uh, there have many video many video about ETAPS and I think um, I have almost completed all tracks and also there have many ETAPS related Excel file that I have created and also I have provided freely for everyone so our analysis have completed now if we go for this for dead load this for live load and okay done so after that if we go here display then If we go here display then deform shape and from here we can select uh, for a load case so if we want to see for response spectrum then press apply and wet so for that figure click uh, for 3d then press apply then what this is the form of our response spectrum condition and if we see that we start animation and if we see it in animation so what will be the condition for response spectrum analysis So please wait for some time. It will be the condition for our building movement and I'll stop that and if we see the contour on object then apply here is the different formation or different uh, deflection category of that building so it's showing the maximum is for response spectrum it's showing a uh, maximum for displacement ux direction it will be 2.62 inch and minimum will be zero so like that web and here every floor are showing a different different displacement for response spectrum and if we go for our desired plot for that so if we go here display here a spread a story, a story response plot and from here that is for model and if we go here case or combo if we select case or combo response spectrum and here is the maximum extra displacement for our response spectrum and display type if you want to see the maximum s3 drift if you want to see max s3 drift that will be the maximum s3 drift for our response spectrum and also for s3 share that will be the s3 share and it's also almost same cause our model was almost same and for overturning moment it will be the overturning moment diagram for x and y and also this for s3 stiffness 
this is the story stiffness for response spectrum analysis and also you can found that report or you can see that report in detail report and from here you can see that and also you can find the value and also by clicking here you can export to word document so like that you can go for response spectrum analysis and uh, the one thing I will told you when you will provide earthquake load win load then you will also find out a diagram from here it's known as response spectrum curve so you'll find out response spectrum curve and when we'll do our push over analysis then also we'll go we'll get our hints result statistics push over curve and many things will found from there so thank you thank you very much yes S12 stay connected till next video and uh, also if you have any problem about that or any confusion then you can contact to me thank you thank you very much